You already know what to do here. Happy New Year. Mm -hmm. Got my guy with me. Showtime SP to nobody that knows bodies. Bow, bow, bow. Shout out to all the subscribers that watch this content, whether religiously or in passing. Without you, there is no us. I cannot stress that enough. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. We're going to try to push this thing to the next level this year. You know what I'm saying? I think that me, SP, have a lot of things in plan and play. And, uh, you know what I mean? It's going to be kind of lit. You know what I mean? Um, what's up, man? Talk to us, Listen, man. Happy New Year to all of the fans and all the subscribers. Happy New Year to every single family that made it into the new year. Shout out to all of the new year, new me people. Shout out to the new year, same shit people. I'm with it all. What we got going on this year, buddy? Already. We got... <laughs> Michigan winning the Rose Bowl. Let me think. You know what I mean? Shout out to the Michigan Wolverines. Alabama was a very tough team. You know what I'm saying? But uh, we're definitely heading to the national championship to see who wins between Texas and Washington. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to everybody from Michigan. Shout out to my mama, my whole family. You know my family from Michigan yeah. and shit like that. Mm -hmm. Fancy everyone else. Um, you know, there's a lot of things going on in Battle Rap. I mean, we hadn't seen each other for a couple of days because I went actually to yeah. Michigan. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Now, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Um, just before they say you ain't no real fan. You know? Yeah, I was just there. Um, <laughs> yeah. Like uh, 48 hours. Like literally. So, um, you know, uh, the Chex versus Rex came out. Mm -hmm. um, I gave my opinion, you gave your opinion. Mm -hmm. Let's just start. Obviously, we're not going over the whole yeah. battle again, you know, but we haven't had yeah. that conversation. You said, I, I had seen your shorts. Mm -hmm. You basically had Chess winning. Explain why. The reason why I had Chess winning in these battles is salute to you watching my shorts too, you know what I'm saying? You know, make sure y'all subscribe to the IG, you know what I'm saying? Showtime SP, no W, because I get those in real life. Yeah. But what I was saying is, is that I can understand how this is a pre I, I, Can we agree that it is a preference battle? Because if I say that it's a preference battle, mm -hmm. you won't get mad at anybody who picks either or. Because mm -hmm. I prefer Chester's material a lot better. Yes, I understand the typical, oh, well, he didn't have that big crowd, he didn't have that big stage, so he wasn't going to throw up, he wasn't going to choke. Okay, well, that stipulation is true. But at the same time, his material, lyrically, was better than, Ch was better than Rex's. I have to say so myself. Now, don't get it twisted. Rex was Rexing. Rex was doing his thing. But the material, though, material that'll take me in the long run, I'm going to go with Chess, man. I got Rex still. You a hater, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but uh, I got Rex still. How am I a hater and you from the Bronx? Please, get out of here. Get out of here, man. Shit, you know what I'm saying? Get in Ibu. And you from the Bronx. What that mean? You from 233. Turk. You, you yes, said you was from up there. I am from uptown. <laughs> But the niggas that you know the most will do the least for you. <laughs> that shit, the way he ended his third was so perfect. It was a good third. Saying? The nigga was like, the niggas that you do the most for, gonna do the least for you. The, you, go, you go to jail, they don't be people. You checking if your people's cool. Mm -hmm. Now you're home, they got a show and they wanna DM you. Mm -hmm. I just see the Y and the O and I be reading you. That's why I ain't got no reason to speak to you. I mm -hmm. love, the way he ended his third was flawless. All right. It was wrong. Um, but the shot in, a vague shot in the mouth, Nah, chest was bugging. Right, come on, man. Chest was bugging. Chest was bugging. Chest was bugging. I ain't gonna hold it. Uh, hold it. It's preference. It's preference. It's preference. Let, let, see, I would want to keep it even, but no, nah, no. Nah, man. These Bronx uh, niggas, the wildest. They want to be like, no, nah, but listen, though. No. <laughs> you had 12, 12 skinnies. I was skinny Same with a 12. 12. Mm -hmm. I was fire. Mm -hmm. uh, you treat this crib shit like a fairy tale. You don't even know you following the folklore. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Because the folk, folk nation lore. Lore. Mm -hmm. follow. Because of the folk. folk. Ni well, it's the folk nation, mm -hmm. which was he saying that the folks lore, which is the story of the folks, mm -hmm. which basically is a rep, a semblance of mm -hmm. Crips, because oh. they're saying that the Crips descended from folks. Mm -hmm. Break saying? that down. It's fire. Break that down for me. This shit is fire. Break that down. But he's saying that the folk, you know what I'm saying, the they, folks they store. lore, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying. So you're following. That shit was crazy. Mm -hmm. Chess might have won this month. I'm just, I'm, I'm just saying. <laughs> yes, sir. This nigga spitting. Damn, nigga. It's a preference. It's a preference. He said the only thing skinny, he said you roll an eighth of Rex, skin him with this nigga on my back like an eighth of Rex. I like that joint. A lot of bangs. He said uh, something rolls in Harlem, Tiana Taylor. I like that. Oh, rolls in Harlem. I like that. Come on, man. He said Irving Plaza. He said don't need another case in it. He got away with it. He got away with it. Body after body after body. Yeah, yeah. Rex said that. What game we playing? Mm -hmm. Is it checker chess or checking chess? Because in the minute the doctor's gonna have to check his chest, have a nigga his age do it. I put a check on chess, old pair of Jordans. I didn't even respect. 
Yes, sir. I told you. You know the hat coming. It's, it's yeah, it be bubbling. Yeah, it be yeah, bubbling yeah. off the top. Oh no, nah, but Chess had that one joint. Uh, you know the trouble you are in. You mm. are in. You won't get a U R N just left in a ditch. The difference between you and my God. Chess might want this motherfucker, man. Just saying, man. I'm just saying. Shout out to Michigan, man. I think Chess, hold on. Um, shout out to the nah. Bronx. <laughs> yeah, shout out to the Bronx. Um, I was going to say this. I did say it in another joint on IXU. I think that URL should encapsulate that facility mm. wherever it was at. Yeah. And get some more battles there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm with you. That It gave me a Black Star feel. I know Black Star don't exist no more or something like that. But that, 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 yeah, what y'all yeah, was that saying? Feeling, that feeling was there. Like, when you see a real battle rap venue where you know that people are literally coming to bring their A game, they're not coming to play around, you know what I'm saying? Minimal entourages. A little, a little reaction is good. Some yeah. gas is good. Reaction is good. Like, when yeah. Red started cooking, cooking, it's like, oh! Like, I like that. When Chess was getting his reaction, too. Rex, Rex, shout Perfect. out to Rex people, because they was there for him. They show us. Oh, no, no, no. We're not doing CCC. <laughs> See, this is shit I'm told. You just left this shit in 2023. Don't bring this I bullshit into 2024. I, I peep your shit from the door. What I, I peep your shit from the door. <laughs> I, I already mean, CC. I knew that shit. I said in 24, I would be watching this shit more. You see, I ain't got no phone in my hand. I, like, this is like, my. I want I want to catch everything. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They're going to be like, yo, why you text? I ain't texting. I want to know what's up, man. Mm -hmm. um, so afterwards, I do have some notes though in the same phone, but they're notes from um, an interview. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Um, did you see Rex's interview on Hip Hop Is Real? I, right? I, I, I did. Let's talk about I the did. interview, man. Every time Rex goes to Hip Hop Is Real, is obviously a show. He's you gonna know? do numbers. It, it, I think. I think Rex is number two on on that list of head ice. Yeah. Come on. yeah he's on the list. He's of, he's number list one. Of, you see, yeah, he's on the list of number two head ice. Human. You know what I'm saying? That's the only Human. thing. Human. <laughs> Human. That nigga's an android. Yeah, yeah. But Rex, is, uh, Rex on hip hop is real. Is definitely gonna be clickbait. It's gonna be click worthy because you gotta watch it. Forty minutes in the yeah. car. Yeah, yeah. He's, Rex is gonna say some some noteworthy shit. So I took some notes. Look. Uh, uh, well, I always notice this too. This is funny because the video itself is forty minutes, mm -hmm. and then I'm like, yo, why are you sitting in the car with Rex for forty minutes? But then I. I realize we they driving through New York. Yeah, it's gonna yeah. take you 40 minutes to drive one mile. Just to go up that damn yeah. street. So yeah, I understood um, that interview. <laughs> so Rex said that he let his foot off the gas. He said he had a fourth round. What do you think about that? I believe it. He probably did. He probably oh, had on. eight rounds. Yeah, mixtape Rex. He also yeah. said that uh, you know, Chess was talking about that that his moment got stole. He said you stole your moment. Mm -hmm. He basically said when Rock was telling him to chill out. You know, he had the opportunity to not do it. Rex said you can't steal my moment. Basically, Rex was saying no matter what you do. I'm never gonna be flustered or flabbergasted. And I will say that because in all the battles that we've seen of Rex, mm -hmm. regardless of whether it's, whether it's been mixtape, whatever, how you feel, yeah. how many battles is he choking? Never. You know what I'm saying? That don't happen. He gonna always have raps. Yeah, it's gonna go, yeah, yeah. He gonna, if, if you've seen 60 Rex battles, mm -hmm. you probably seen 55 to 57 where he got through three rounds, whether it's material, you, would, uh, you like it or not. Right. He gonna get through it. Yeah. Um, he yeah, said, I've never uh, seen, yeah, I don't think Rex, is, yeah, Rex has never Rex said he didn't change a thing. Mm. You know what I'm saying? He said he didn't change any of his material. He kept it the same. He said Chess uh, changed the beginning of his because mm. you know he put that line in there at the beginning of his round. Yeah. But uh, what was what was another telling thing? He said Geechee, you next. What you thought about that? <laughs> you got <his> next. <laughs> you know, what, what do you think? I think we should get the Rex first Geechee. I think Rex did enough in this battle to earn Geechee. You don't think so? All right. Yeah. That, I mean, we can say that. I mean, but are we, is this gonna be for Homecoming three? If, if this nah, Geechee like got him or something. If this Geechee got him versus Rex in 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 a small room, yeah, the the the, the odds are evened out a little bit. Right. You can't do that. I don't think big I don't think big stage Rex versus a big stage Geechee got him. I don't him. think Rex should battle with nobody in a big stage. Honestly. I don't even know I know hate no. shit. You know what I'm saying? I no. fuck with Rex, you know what I'm saying? But I don't think that his style is catered to a big stage anymore. And why do you say that? Because the schematics of what comes with battle rap sometimes is the intricacies and the level of the content. Like, you can't just um, hop out the gun with a big gat, click clack, hit you with your six pack. You shouldn't have never grew a six pack. Like, like the doctors ain't gonna be able to fix that. Like, you're gonna be you're like, that, like the shit that Rex, I, that's the shit that I love from Rex, though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He's a checker chest, a chicken chest. <laughs> he said, I put a check on chest, get a nigga his age to do it. I like it. I ain't gonna lie. Right. But mm, on a big stage? It's limited. You mm. can't, that's not because, because you know why? Mm -hmm. Those bars that's like that were Rex get them. Mixing and whipping the shipper took mm -hmm. up. Nigga said the older mm -hmm. bat, the older bat. And you gotta feel that type of yeah. thing. You know what I'm saying? Yes. That's that feel yes. material like. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Like, feel uh, hold on, let me see. Let me see. <laughs> I give you, uh, you know what I'm saying? Let me, uh, I'm gonna give you an example, right? So Rex says, uh, uh, he said, no matter what you do, it won't outweigh what you didn't do. 
Mm, yeah. <laughs> I see why they was trying to build chess. I guess that's the reason they was benching you. Mm -hmm. That's not gonna hit on a big stage, but if it's like 20 niggas around, it's oh, clever. Oh, that's clever. That's clever. You, clever, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. uh, he says, uh, I'm a stand up nigga. Everybody in my camp got some, he said, everybody in my camp got some stand up in them. He said, ain't nobody in his camp got no stand up in them. My whole crew got some handguns with them. We all killers. So the niggas I message, we can't unsend them. That's some bar that you gotta feel. You gotta have an iPhone bar, you know what I'm saying? That, you're if you're in a big crowd, big state, they might not feel that bar. <laughs> you know but um, Rex did respond to it by saying, you know, when the gas wasn't there, blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. But um, he does have a good reason to feel the way he did, because you know what I'm saying? Rex is not a fan favorite. Yeah. So, if he's winning any polls, it's probably because of the battle. Mm -hmm. uh, he did say, he said, uh, he said, he said he's the reason why URL is here. I mean, I'm not. I'm, I, a yes, four, he's a forefather. Yes, for sure, a forefather. The same thing with Math. Yeah. Same Math. thing. You know what I'm saying? Same thing with Mook. Mm -hmm. Um and um it was uh and Cortez. You know what I'm saying? But Cortez ain't gonna sit here and be like, yeah, I'm a you know I'm the forefather of this. Right. But Rex can say that because. It does true and Rex the reason why Rex talks the way that he talks is because he has transcended through all of the errors. He's been here the whole time. Like it ain't been a, a, a era where Rex stepped out of battle rap, retired. No, it was just call my name and I'm gonna appear. So Rex can talk the way that he talked. But in that same breath, yeah, big stay in that small room setting, that dungeon area, that that volume mm -hmm. setting. Rex will be the best Rex that you you would want to see. I mean, shoot, yeah, you've seen him in different volumes with, with that type of Rex, and it was good. But when it comes to that big stage and trying to resonate to the crowd, yeah, definitely got to give it up to the youth. Got to give uh, it to He also said uh, he was clowning Briz. Basically, said Briz came out as a prop. Like, why are you coming out for free if you're mm -hmm. not coming out to rap? What you thought about that? He's backing up his man. That's what he's supposed to do. And the same thing that, that that's the same thing that you know he's supposed to say. You know, it's things like that. I personally didn't like the you know he's a victim line, but you know, hey, it worked. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, all right, so you know that that was that. You know, what I'm saying Rex's interview is on 15 minutes. I mean, hip hop is real. Yeah. You know, what I'm saying shout out to Nas. Everybody on hip, um, yeah. hip hop is real. Mm -hmm. um, these niggas like doppelgangers. They, they, you know, what I'm saying they be swinging through the through the through the neighborhood getting Thanks. interviews. Shout out to both of them. Literally. Um. <laughs> So, when you move on, I mean, so that, that's that's like reps. I mm -hmm. want to talk about something else, you know, since 2024, mm -hmm. um, the year everybody wants to do more. more. Mm -hmm. um, you got big leagues, you got small leagues coming in like that. What leagues are you looking forward to really, like, really expanding and doing bigger things this year? Like, if, 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 out of every league, what you think? I mean, truth be told, I, I definitely, we gave, we gave uh, RBE the league of the year. Mm -hmm. I would like to see them still apply the same amount of pressure this mm -hmm. year too. You know what I'm saying? ARP smoked your ass, dog. Hey, it's nah, hey, hey. ARP no, ARP my man. So like I said, and I appreciate that. And Get you your man to you the ground, know, nigga. You and I know what I meant when I said what I said. I ain't gonna take it back because I stand on. So what I'm gonna say is this: We need more than one year. You know what I'm saying? If you can give us another year that you gave us this year, it's undeniable that you are here to stay. But don't be teasing us like you' about to retire. Don't be teasing like you' about to be done with this. Mm -hmm. No, I need you to cook up the way you've been cooking up. Keep your foot on these niggas' necks. So RBE is number one for me. Um, shoot, if I gotta if I gotta keep it all the way tall with you, man. Listen, I battle might be sneaking up like to come in. Just I'm just saying. You watch CJA versus Rum Nitty. I'm waiting for this Feebo and uh and, Ge and Geechee Gotti. I mean, Feebo and uh Tay Rock. I, I kind of want to see what's going on with them because I think Lex is also trying to come with a vengeance this year too. I just just be on the lookout. I, um, I was watching uh Rum Nitty versus CJA because I heard a couple people talking about it, whatever the case may be. You watch for sure. So, um, yeah, I do watch them too. You know what I'm <laughs> so that kind of like gives me like the direction of what's going on. So I watched it. Mm -hmm. And when I was watching it, I was like, yo, this is a really good battle. I was like, he from New York too? I was like, oh, he on my team. You know? <laughs> <laughs> he rocked with I, us. I went, I went and did some scouting and shit. I, went and looked, I said, oh shit, he on my team. <laughs> the nigga was cooking. I said, oh shit. He said that motherfucker, the sun is down, freezing cold, sicko mode. I said, oh, that motherfucker, that man nice. I can't no, wait to see no, him. No, what's the joke? He said, I saw him. He was almost at my six o'clock. So I hit him with a five five six. That was crazy. They said the other shit. I saw, I saw my idol. Stay still. Ooh. I don't even know what 
nigga gotta go no ball for ball for ball. No. That motherfucker won that bitch 2-1. Ah, yeah, he, ah, he won that bitch 2-1 clear, dog. As a rum nitty resident, resident nigga, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm a part of the spaceship, the UR aliens, okay? I'm just saying the alien, he, the, ah, listen, he you said know. I'm seasoned from the block Is like a bouillon cube. What is a yeah, bouillon that's cube? That's a little cube that you put in the soup. Oh, For the seasoning. Uh, Listen, hold on, hold on. Listen, you ain't gotta just use it for soup. That's what I'm hearing. You could throw it in some greens. You could throw it in some. Yeah, Listen, that was crazy. Oh, uh, <laughs> Rummy did really well, but I just think I'm in that, it, it's a very good battle. It's mm -hmm. a high battle. I would suggest people check it out. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that. Shit yeah. like that. Shit like that. Um. What's up, man? What you think uh, URL could do this year, man? You know what I'm saying? Like, they didn't finish the year the greatest last year, you know what I'm saying? I turned a new leaf this year, you know what I'm saying? I ain't got no beef with nobody, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, a, I'm turning a new leaf, you know what I'm saying? So I'm giving everybody a fair shot. What can the Ultimate Rap League do to get back in the graces, the good graces of the people this year? What's up, man? I think it's two things. Um, and shout out to, uh, I think it was Chris Unbiased, he interviewed Mickey Fax. And Mickey Fax. I didn't even get to see it. It was a long time. I didn't get to see that. Yeah, it's 50 that. minutes. But, uh, you know, hey, shout out, you know, shout out to Mickey. Shout out to Chris Unbiased. But I'm saying, Mickey Fax p pointed out that two major things should be in the forefront this year. Right. One is marketing. Mm -hmm. You got to promote yourself a little bit better. I understand y'all, y'all, you are real as the big, the big, you know, the big league. And, and, and we don't have to promote, but... I don't you gotta know. Gotta get back to bargain basement promoters. Yeah, you gonna have to definitely be handing them flyers out in the, in the middle of the clubs or putting them in somebody's windshield. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You you're need not, you to do you're some not street Rolls team. Royce or Mercedes. Like not Mercedes. Even Mercedes still does promotion. Yeah. But you'll never see a Ferrari commercial. You'll or never Maybach. see a Bentley or Maybach. You know why you never see those commercials? Because the people that can afford them mm -hmm. don't need no motherfucking. Yeah. <laughs> if you could afford a Bentley, you don't need a commercial to buy one. I heard They're you not, say it before, <laughs> and I, you can say it to them again. Yeah, you ain't gotta. So, but that's but. But it seems like, but it seems like there is a a a a, a downshift of of notoriety for URL, and it's mainly because they feel as though that they're not promoting enough, or the things that they are promoting, they are pushing towards a different demographic. Because that brings me to part number two: who 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 are these niggas? <laughs> that, I'm, I, I gotta keep know. it tall. You know, know. you know what I'm saying, like. For them to have the rookies versus sophomores, and then for the only drop one battle. By the way, I did watch that battle. We can talk about that at I another didn't watch time. It. Uh, yeah, when, we, when it's time to, it'll be time to. Uh, but when it comes to these new niggas, who are these new niggas? We don't know who they are because lack of promotion, lack of marketing on the new cats. Mm -hmm. So if you're not marketing the new cats like that, and you're not marketing the the bigger battles and stuff like that, it's just it. it it kind of goes by the wayside. Right, 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 right. What do you and, think needs to change? Vis visibility is definitely a big thing. I wouldn't just say marketing and promotion because you can't just like throw up flyers and shit like that. I think people are just gonna gravitate towards new guys. You know what I'm saying? It's getting the ball rolling. Like with Jerry West, when he wasn't getting the battles that he deserved, they got Jerry West some of the looks that he deserved mm -hmm. to get the ball rolling. You know what I'm saying? When he battled Louisi, then he went on to battle John John and Rum Nitty and all these other niggas. Mm -hmm. And he got his ball rolling. They got to be able to kickstart the process and get the ball rolling because I know they feel like, oh, well, if we t what if we took a year off? What if we it's like, dude, you can't look at yourself in correspondence as competition with the other league. Right. You've been here. Yeah. We don't look at Chrome or uh, Rare Breed or UW that's now being rebuilt to find talent. We look at you to find talent. Yeah. It is what it is. That's just the way it is because you gain that respect. Yeah. You've done that for years. Mm. But I think you all had a lot of a lot of shit in the way this year. Obviously, uh, Norb's lawsuit yeah. was a big deal. Mm. You know what I'm saying? That I don't care how they try to play it. Somebody that used to work for you, suing you for millions, and got files and files and files and files, and a lawyer that's gonna go to the 12th inning. Mm. You know what I'm saying? It, it meant a lot. So now that that's behind them, you know what I'm saying? That was a thing. Then a lot of people don't even understand losing their face card. Their face card is too Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, he was their marketing person. He was the head of marketing, the head of promotions, the head of customer support. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Even if he, he was, was the, enforcer. He was the enforcer. <laughs> he was the only person that could go blog for blog, not even blog, tweet for tweet with ARP and some of these big league owners and, and, and have stains. Yeah. He's the only person that they could tell, that could tell ARP, I'll take 30,000 from you, come spit on your floor and leave. You know what I'm saying? 
and I'll still come to your next event and, and, and show up. And then not only did he do that, he went to the next yeah. event, which was yeah. Bill Collector versus uh, Hitman. Mm -hmm. It was right there in the crowd. So he definitely was front row. When you lose a, a face piece like that, that's a big thing because they don't really have another marketing person. Like they got other people in good positions. Like Tay Rock's a great rapper. Gucci Gotti's a great rapper. Mm -hmm. But can they market a market. whole franchise? You nope. know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Can you put them up there to host events and do all the interviews and shit like that? I don't know. Yeah, it, it, it typically, and I'm not nitpicking Tay Rock or anything, but they, but they are. It seems that URL is pushing Tay Rock in the front of these battles because you'll see why in a couple of things. But he is Tay Rock is trying to be the face of URL as he's supposed to be. Mm. So I mean, I don't know. And, and you know, a lot of battles been taking uh, a lot of battles on small small leagues. Mm -hmm. Yo, we we outside, we're available. You know what I'm saying? You reach out. We got some good things in the works, you know what I'm saying? If you want to get us to see your talent, whatever the case may be, you know, we, we can make that work too. But uh, as far as, uh, you know... I, I was about to say, that was, a, that was a, another thing too when it comes to pro, uh, artist promotion. I think you should... Uh, my last thing, let these battlers eat, man. Let them let the battlers eat somewhere else. If they not, they ain't doing something that they supposed to be doing on your league. Let them go and take take that litmus test. Take that test. See what it's like to go somewhere else. Cause some people do go to other leagues and cook. Now their price comes back a little bit higher. Right. Um, it ain't often, but let these cats cook, man. Rocket Sirius Jones is going back and forth. Do you even want to see that? No. 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 I, I thought I was bugging. I was no. One. No. I want to see the easy and, and Tay Rock battle more than I want to see uh, Tay Rock and Sirius Jones. And we know the problem with that battle. <laughs> um, so you got that, you know what I'm saying? And then you got U Dub. U Dub is returning Arsenal Jimmy's first announcement of Geechee Gotti. I don't know who Geechee Gotti is battling against. It don't matter. You know what I'm saying? But <laughs> what you think about U Dub returning? Let's just start there. I like it. I, I like the fact that competition is getting spicier when it comes to these leagues because a lot of the uh, uh, the arguments or the talking points when it was, when URL was thriving was that nobody was trying to combat or contest them. I was like, nah, that's a lie. It was more than just RBE. It was more than just King of the Dot. There was a league called UW that was Ultimate Warrior League that was definitely doing numbers. Mm -hmm. And if you don't believe me, look up two battles for me. Loaded Lux versus Hollow the Don. Mm -hmm. Arsenal versus Loaded Lux. These are two the battles. Sir versus Callus on that too. Ooh, that's, a, that's, a, that's number three. And then O Red versus Rex is on there. I can name about 15 I'm, I'm, things. I just wanted to throw those out there, you know, just just so they could do the research because you know the young I can't bring you, I can't bring you up back without Rad B though. Like if Rad B ain't involved, I ain't trying to hear it. I gotta see Rad B. Um, mm. the first event, mm. you, know, you was going at? Huh? Alright, cool. Okay. No rabbit. Are they All gonna right. bring back Authentic? He's on a... Oh. <laughs> keep cooking. T-Top, keep cooking. Alright, let's keep uh, going. Yeah, um, so... <laughs> yeah, so, uh, yeah. Um, yeah. Um, Return of U-Dub. Uh, mm -hmm. I, uh, I definitely like to see them. They, they, so they got March 2nd mm -hmm. in New Orleans. You ever been to New Orleans? I ain't never, I ain't never been, but I heard um, if, if I bring some beads, or, or don't bring the beads, or I don't, or earn the beads. I, I don't know how it works, but yeah, no, no, I want you to, Mardi Gras. You don't want me to earn the beads? Yeah, okay, I don't, I don't earn the beads. Aren't. I ain't never yeah, been there. Yeah, yeah, all right. Well, uh, you dub. You know what to do. Um, so yeah, that that that'll be uh, something that we look. All right, here's another one. Um, who you want to see? Who did you not see? We'll go like this. You give me two people. Or a person or two that you didn't see enough of, or didn't see in 2023, artist-wise, and I'll give you two people that you didn't say, and we'll just go from there. Two people. I haven't seen enough of Bill Collector. <sighs> I haven't seen enough of Bill Collector. Okay. That's 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 one who I think because we saw we just saw him and we just saw what he can do. I would like to see more of that mm -hmm. this year from Bill Collector. And I think number two. Hmm. I mean, obvious is you know, Briz, but you know, that ain't gonna happen. I would like to see Hitman a little bit more too. Mm. I'm gonna hold you. I, I was crazy. Uh, well, yeah, Hitman had two battles. Uh, yeah, Easy and Eddie O. Well, mm -hmm. both very good battles. Mm -hmm. Phenomenal work. Um, so yeah, I, I, I don't disagree with you with yeah. that. But it's funny. 
All the people that I have are people that you did not say, which is crazy. <laughs> Good. That makes um, your pick even better. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I definitely agree with those. Uh, well, who I got? I got a couple. I got like four, but I'm gonna just go with two. Okay. Uh, number one, B dot. You know what I'm saying? I definitely like to see B dot again. You know what I'm saying? Wherever, if we can, how we can, when we can. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I like to see B dot. That's in some about bridge realm. You know what I'm <laughs> in the bridge realm with people that we ain't seen and we probably won't see. I don't know. And the second one is Iron Solomon. Mm. We ain't seen him in over a year. You know what I'm saying? And I would like to see Iron Solomon again. It's been a couple years. It's been a couple years since we've seen Iron Solomon. And then, like, for people, the person that's been, like, active, but then we really haven't really seen him a lot. O-Red. I, I think O-Red should have stayed on RBE. You know what I'm saying? I do think that his talent... If, if O-Red would have been in the blue room, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I think he would have been way better suited than to try to, like, overpower vocals and rap over big crowds and shit like that. And that's causes his, he can't, his voice doesn't even make it to third round. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If he was in like smaller rooms, you seen like the blue room. You don't have to do too much to keep your voice in there. Um, I would love to see Old Red be back on his shit. You know, now that you done mentioned it, and since you made that mention, if U Dub coming back, who was the front runner for U Dub? Mm -hmm. Cause they brought a lot of niggas to U Dub mm -hmm. to battle over it. You 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 out here playing seeds? Is that what you know? You out here you 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 gardening? No, you, know, you gardening without me? I'm you? never not working. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> My man out here like, oh, don't worry. Mm -hmm. I'm never not working. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm, I'm not bad at seeing O Red again. I do believe, yeah, O Red was, he was in a bit of a rough patch, and I do believe a smaller room or that smaller, that intimate feel would be better for his voice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, and lyrically, you know what I'm saying? Because I think uh, the smaller rooms fit better for lyricists. Mm. Like, like, you know, the wordy, wordy, wordy guys? Yeah, they need to be in the smaller Supers, yeah, yeah, they would definitely, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, they would definitely deserve to be in a uh, in a smaller room. Mm -hmm. Did um, you see Geechee Gotti get 30 by Super Hot Fire? I did, let's talk about that, man. What's <laughs> up? Give me your thoughts, I man. thought that Geechee Gotti got 30 by Super Hot Fire, and it, I mean, like, don't get it twisted, you know, I know it's parody, I know it's parody, you know what I'm saying, and I know that Super Hot Fire is supposedly, supposedly, supposedly not a rapper, but that nigga was rapping in the second and in the third. I'm just saying, even though he was playing, those words rhymed mm -hmm. and it worked. Geechee Gali was doing a lot of pandering. He did a lot of the, you ain't never get a jazz face. He had the low soul praying for you. He had, he had all of those entities trying to have people in it. Mm -hmm. I also get it. It's a parody. His real words, you know, like we know what could really go down in the Geechee Gali battle. But mm -hmm. I thought it was fun. I think it's great for the culture. It's a 30, it's a 30 ball for Super Hot Fire. Though, you know what I'm <sighs> Super Hot Fire is a battle rapper that's never going to lose to anyone. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, he can damn near say anything. I ain't gonna lie, when I first, first saw and heard of it, I kind of was like, eh, I don't know. Mm -hmm. But I think it is good because it brings attention and a light to battle rap, even if it's from a parody perspective. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Because sometimes you find humor in a joke, you know what I'm saying? So I think that that might, uh, that might, that might lead to something. I'm just saying, you need a goat. So, you know what I'm saying? When you jumped into the crowd, I felt like I was catching you too. You know what I'm saying? Mm. <laughs> so what event, if you could, what event, for 2024, like what singular event would you be looking forward to being happening again? Like what event? Like some madness, Max album, ooh, like what event would you be? Obviously, the you know the the best time that I've had was at Max out. So I would love to sit there and be there. I, it, it was ten battles, ten plus battles. Niggas still had a good time. I'm just saying, oh, man. man. <laughs> I'm just saying. Yeah. It was brutal. It was brutal, but it was but, fun. It was fun. <laughs> um, what about you? <laughs> you do Max, huh? <laughs> you know? Hey, you do hey, Max, hey, my hey, shit, dog. Hey, ARP, I'm sorry for what I said, you know what I'm saying? If that, if that stops the phone call, call. Just call me. <laughs> yeah, I'll leave this nigga home. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'll fit in the suitcase. I'm throwing me on the carry-on. I'll fit up Yo, there. We'll leave him, at, we'll leave him uh, in, in, in the block. Nah, we'll, it's all good. Nah. Um, yeah, that, that would uh, definitely be good. You heard Hitman's record, man? What's up? I know you heard that. Oh, the, 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 the letter to the, the culture? The culture, yeah. What's up, man? I like it. All right, I, all right. It's this weird thing that I have with certain battle rappers and when they and how you know how they rap on songs. Like, so I could never get used to surf music. Like, I could never because I could never get used to battle rappers and how they sound in uh, in a battle versus how they sound on the track. Right. So, for example, like 
Surf's voice on tracks is not Surf's voice that I hear in battles. You know what I'm saying? So with Hitman having the calm, cool, and collective voice like that, I was like, okay, I, I like this version, this music version of, of Hitman Holler. But the shots he was throwing? It was solid, wasn't it? Listen, it was direct hits. You know how they had the little X on the on the target? Yeah, that target gone. It's a hole where that at. He was hitting it right on the on the mm -hmm. head. What you think about it? I thought it was direct. I thought it was needed. I thought it sparks off the new year uh, necessary. It gets Hitman in front of Geechee Gotti, um, and it makes some battles happen. So I definitely dig that. And I, I'm not mad at, at what I heard, man. What else we got going on? Just a lot, man. Uh, what you think? Uh, Clone is battling against Shotgun Shug on World Time Battle soon yes. too. Yeah. What you think about Clone, man? Tell me what you think, man. I think Clone is dope, man. And, and look, he will tell you how hard was I trying to fight to get Clone on this top on that top ten list. I was fighting for Clone to get on that top ten list. But, he definitely was. You know what I'm saying? And and then and then because I was saying the battles of the year, I was trying to get Clone in battle of the year, something so for Clone because I am a fan of Clone and I like what Clone got going on. Him back on the shotgun should is is a is a crazy battle, mm -hmm. only because of where it's gonna be. Now now you're now this also makes me take my eyes to that league mm -hmm. over there. Now I'm buying the pay per view mm -hmm. because we just saw what shotgun should just did. He just left he left the stage with a with a with a with a, 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 a crazy thirty. For him to go up against Cole, who is a lyrical person, mm -hmm. and shotgun should's Achilles heel is always lyrical guys, right? Mm -hmm. This is where we can we can kind of see how that how that goes. I like it. I would like to see it. Yeah, I definitely would too. You know what I'm saying? I think that clone. Um, I told clone earlier when I spoke to him that I feel like there's another level that you can go to. I feel like you've done good. I feel like you've been on comparable cards. You know what I'm saying? You had the big K on the max out joint, max mm -hmm. out two, I believe. But I do just think there's another level where you can take it to to where you can go from. Being just someone that's on bullpen mm -hmm. into like a star role, like how Low Soul started taking off and being, you know, his and, own yeah. independent mm -hmm. brand and entity. Some of the shit that we seen Bad News doing, you know what I'm saying, like this year. Yeah. So I think that this starts off a, um, a good run for Clone, you know what I'm saying, um, and so on and so be it. Um, not too much, but finally, mm -hmm. um, what you thought about uh, Easy versus John John? It released, you know what I'm saying. Et cetera, et cetera. Well, uh, being as though that uh, we was there, mm -hmm. um, and and neither one of us is gonna lie to you, in the building, couldn't really hear too much. Like I, I we really couldn't hear too much of the second and the in the end of that thirdish round. After John John's pause, worthy lines in the third, it got murky. So I had to go back on the material myself. After rewatching this battle, not once, not twice, but three different times. I feel like this is another preference battle as well. I mm -hmm. think that the battle could go either way. And I understand how, and well, I'm sorry, it's not that I understand it, but how y'all need to understand how these rules go. If John John went to Philly to battle somebody and the battle is debatable, mm -hmm. John John wins the battle. Mm -hmm. He's supposed to get cooked. He's supposed to get smoked. He's supposed to get all of that. Mm -hmm. Was John John wrong for dropping that audio that day? No. You know why? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a strategy, baby. Mm -hmm. He was being strategic. Now everybody giving you this, giving Easy the side eye and everything. So now when the battle happens, Easy got a lot going on, and he trying to combat that. It's a really good tactic. I feel like John John wins the war. But if we're talking about round for round, I preferred Easy's first and Easy's third. I mm -hmm. preferred, but John John won that war. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know. <clears throat> it happens, it happens how it happens. Uh, a good battle overall, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Uh, 2024 starting off pretty well, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Uh, what's, what's your goal, man? You know, I, 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 you know the thing is, I've said, because uh, we were named number one on Harlem Legends Battle on um, Rap Media of the Year list. Salute. And things like that, salute to him. Appreciate what's your goal? Like, you have any goal for 2024, you know what I'm saying? I never thought that uh, 2023 would go to win. Nigga, I did. Yeah. Fuck all that. I, I been knew I was that nigga. <laughs> no, no, no. Talk your shit. Because you put in that pain. I, I, I didn't know. No, 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 no. I really didn't know, though. You put in the pain so that, therefore, it was like, oh, of course we're going to ask you to do this. You know what I'm saying? You put in that pain. I think we put in enough pain to get the recognition that we deserve. But 50 million views, bitch. <sighs> I'm just saying... 
for what happened in 2023 and then the things that happened all the way up ending in the 2023, this only make me hungrier to make 2024 even better, bro. Like, I, it's going to get even bigger and better. And then not to mention, you know, in 2023, we was kind of what, fourth? We, we came into the second quarter at Fox? It was like the second yeah. quarter? Yeah, we starting it off in the quarter. Yeah. And we was both at Bullshit 95s, too. You know what I'm saying? We definitely was, too. So we ain't at them no more. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So we definitely have the time to, uh, to, to to work our plays and work our moves. But anyway. What's your plans for 2024? Um, Anything you want to tell them that, that you got going on for us? Uh, <laughs> I can't say too much, you know what I'm saying? Because there's some shit going on that's about to take us to like the next level. And I really can't say much, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Because I just can't. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> my, I think that my only, my only competition really is to try to outdo the year that we had last year. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's possible, you know what I'm saying? We're going to try to do what we got to do, but you know what I'm saying? It, it's going to be it's gonna be some work, you know what I'm saying? I think that uh, we what I want to definitely do is um, try to keep our fans engaged, watching us, and, uh, and, and satisfied in what we do, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? But other than that, shout out to every single one of y'all. Uh, this week in Battle Rap, this is week one of, you know what I'm saying, 52 weeks. I think that one thing we definitely, one thing I know is one I definitely want to do. Mm. I definitely want to stick to certain things like we do this week in Battle Rap, do one every week, you know what I'm saying? And if we do shit like that, like Patreon content, other content that we were doing and that we will continue to do, I want to do that, you know mm. what I'm saying? We definitely want to do that more. Oh. But anyway. Yeah, I'm, so about to, I'm about to say last thing too, yeah, what I do plan on for 2024, there's going to be some more content coming from my channel too. So the same campaign, follow him on IG. Mm -hmm. Follow me on IG too, because there's gonna be some stuff coming from on, on my channel too. Just, just saying. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Continue. Yeah, follow that. Definitely, 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 mm -hmm. definitely. For sure, for sure, for sure. We definitely would like that. And other than that, man, salute to every single one of y'all. Um, salute to all of the uh, Alabama fans. It's been real. You know what I'm saying? I'm about to uh, put y'all in the air. And shout out to my brother Showtime SP. And we here. Gang, gang. Subtle.